Good morning. Um, I've missed doing my videos. Uh, seems like we've been busy on the weekends or just things interfering and uh, I haven't done one lately. Uh, but I had a friend um, request a video, a tour of the inside of my house. And um, so I thought I would do that at least partially today. Um, we cleaned up <laughs> for uh, my, Mr. Menace had a poker game at the house last weekend, so we had to do some cleaning, and so I thought, well, hey, while part of my house is clean, I better do a video real quick. So anyway, um, I thought I'd take this opportunity to uh, show part of my house, you know, real life, um, all of it is never clean at all at one time. And um, so uh, you won't get to see it all, but um, I'd start with uh, the main parts. And by the way, uh, even when it's clean in my standards, uh, that may not be clean to your standards, but that doesn't matter. This is me. This is how we live. Um, it's Saturday. Uh, it's turned winter again. It's raining. It's cold outside. Um, cold being relative, I'm sure. It's messy, it's yucky. Um, I don't even want, I need to go to the grocery store and I don't even want to get out and do that. But anyway, uh, we'll get started on this tour. Right now I am sitting in my entryway. Um, was, it, our house, it looks much larger from the outside than it really is. Um, it's all one level. However, the entry has uh, the most interesting part to it. Let me see if I can turn this camera around. Um, well, that wasn't it. There we go. Okay. So, if you come up my front steps and come in my front door, You will be right here. Let me let me maybe if I open the door, you can see better. This, this isn't. I should have practiced this, I guess. But anyway, when you come in the front door, um, you have to go up these steps to the main level. It's not a true split level. There is no down level. Everything is on this upper level. So when we come up the steps, you're then in the living area but I'll show you from up here I was sitting right there on those steps and that, that gives the entry a lot of um, interest and character I think and um, uh, really I don't know uh, Mr. Menace says it's a waste of space and I guess it is but it's cute so anyway so when you come up the stairs let me do this see if I can do this better when you come up the stairs, I have the entry, and of course you can tell I like yellow. Um, I, I decorate with things that mean something to us. These are some pictures that Mr. Menace took of a comet in the area years ago. And this is a picture I actually found at the thrift store, but it's the old um, depot in Birmingham that no longer exists. And I purchased this um, hat rack from my mother's antique store. Now, it holds some fond memories. And, um, oh, let me back up. The acre sign. That is an original sign from Acre Station where I grew up. I grew up on Long Acre. I didn't grow up at Acre Station. But that's in North Carolina. Um, this light fixture Mr. Menace and I added. We found that at a flea market. And I fell in love with it. It's gigantic. And I love it. Okay, so that's the, that's the entryway, the foyer. And then you um, come through this little space here. We have, hmm, 
it's hard to get this is a narrow room and it's hard to get where I can get <laughs> everything in the picture but okay so you come up the stairs there to the right and then uh, you come into the living room and I'll give you a quick low down on this that's uh, my uncle Henry's deer antlers hanging over there that my daddy mounted there's my navy blue sofa a little coffee table, and you'll see my stuff there on the sofa. That's where I sit and play on Facebook and watch TV. And then down from the sofa, um, that's my Uncle Henry's mirror from over his mantle. And here's Mr. Menace's recliner. Now I'm going to come to this end of the living room and continue around. This is the newest um, scale. Mr. Menace has a collection of scales. This one is a warehouse scale, possibly a tobacco warehouse scale that he bought recently. Our newest edition, the Giant TV. This is my river house table. Um, it came from my parents' River House on the Pamlico River in North Carolina. And now we've made a circle just about, and we are back to the front door. And so that's the living room. I'm going to turn all the way around. Don't let me make you dizzy. But at the other end of the living room is our dining room. So we'll walk down here. Um... And I'll just show it to you. This is my faux fireplace. I don't really have it decorated very well right now. I had to rearrange a lot of things for the poker game, so I haven't really done a lot of decorating in here so now from the living room I mean from the dining room we'll look back towards the entry and the living room it's all one long room and then right here at the um, dining table is the door to the kitchen which I like my kitchen I took the doors off this cabinet for open shelves. And that's our daily dishes that we use every day. I guess that makes sense. And sometimes I clean the refrigerator off because they uh, show in all the magazines how much prettier, if a refrigerator can be pretty, uh, they are when they're not cluttered with stuff. But, oh, those love letters from the grandkids. Mm. And there was a built-in cabinet right here, right beside the refrigerator, between that and the window, um, that I took out. It was a large pantry-type cabinet. Um very large. It, ha it held the microwave, which right now is sitting on that cabinet right there, and I don't like it. It's using up too much space. I have a plan, but I haven't found the proper thing I need to implement the plan yet. But anyway, this cabinet, um, it just w didn't work for me. It wasn't, it didn't fit what I needed, and we have so much, so many collectible pieces of furniture. For instance, this butcher block that I took it out. We took that cabinet out and I use these open bookshelves for my dishes and, gla and glasses that we use every day. And this butcher block is <clears throat> quite old. And this is my coffee station here. Well, it's actually right here, but all the supplies and cups are right here. Okay, and this is the kitchen and then there was the door when we came in from the dining room. 
and then um, immediately, I guess adjacent to the kitchen, is the study. There's another old scale. By the way, his collection. Oh, sorry for doing that so fast. Here's a scale here. And then the one in there. And then there's this one here. And I think we actually have another one, but I'm not sure right now. <laughs> he likes scales. And they are beautiful. Okay, so we come in here. There's actually a bar at the back of the kitchen that rarely, almost never gets used. It mostly collects junk. <clears throat> Mr. Menace's exercise bike that doesn't see much exercise. Um, this desk I love. Maybe I can get a better picture from the other side. Let me come on in here. I'll start this way. That's my Aunt Moby's uh, china cabinet from her house with the sliding doors to the deck. This um, chalkboard. I love this giant chalkboard. <clears throat> the other butcher block. The giant display cabinet, which I can't even get it all in the picture. And then I was trying to show you this desk. It's a partner's desk. It has two sides. It's actually, it's one desk, but it's made for two people. It's as big as two desks, and it's just beautiful. I love it. Um, he's got his computer on that here. And I hope to actually start uh, get things organized and be able to use this for my office for paying bills and blogging and such. And to tell you the truth, I probably should end this video soon because I know that they don't, they're hard to watch when they're very long. Um, I'll go just a little bit further. From here, you have the hall that leads down to the bedrooms. I'm not going to show you the bedrooms today, though. I'll save those for another day. Um, and this is the door to the basement. My laundry room is down there. His shop is down there. I do park my car in there, but he, there's no room for his car. And then this door right here leads us back to the entry. So, that's the main living part of our house. Um, and by the way, I wanted to say, you know this is Saturday, and I am not fixing up on my Saturday morning. Um, my hair, I barely brushed the tangles out of it. <laughs> so y'all are seeing me. I'm, you are lucky I did take my pajamas, change out of my pajamas. But anyway, um, thanks for joining me. And... Um, I hope you like my house. Oh, we like it. We really do. There's some things we'd like to change about it and some things we're working on. But basically, we like it. And um, I'll show you the rest of it another day. Uh, right now, Mr. Menace is in the bedroom, laying in the bed, um, watching TV. And um, I was telling him that my project today is to get in there and get all the clothes washed. So <laughs> that may clue you in as to one reason you're not seeing the bedroom today. Clothes are everywhere. Um, I didn't even wash clothes last weekend because of the poker game and had other stuff to do, you know, house to fix and um, food to fix and that kind of thing. But anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the little tour of my house. I'm sorry it wasn't a very professional one. But anyway, get, you got to see most of the house. And Sandra, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.